everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ark Knights. Uh, we're going to be playing Ark Knights on Blue Stacks today, which is our sponsor of the day. They're fantastic. My favorite emulator for any sort of game ever. Uh, one of the best parts about it is you can run multiple instances at once. I also have my alt as well. Uh, if you want to download Ark Knights for Blue Stacks 4 or any other game I play, you can get it in the link description below. Uh, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring. We are going to be showing you my LS5, my CE5, and my SK5. So basically, the three kind of pillars of end game um, for Ark Knights. You can also do stuff uh, with Bluestacks 4, like setting up controllers pretty easily too. Uh, I haven't done that yet for this, but I have done it previously for stuff like uh, Azur Lane and um, Honkai Impact. So let's get into it here and uh show you these sweet runs they're actually quite quite impressive um some of these will be better than what uh i originally did them on but i tried to keep my bare minimum stats especially for the harder ones like sk5 uh sk5 took me by far longer than any other stage in the game so first off let's show you my tactics drill here uh, and we'll talk through how the teams go as we as we go through it, like what my choices were for these. Uh, cardigan, good old cardigan. I use her literally just for this, I think. Uh, I can't even remember if I deploy her for this one, to be entirely honest. But this was, uh, I think, the easiest one to start things off on, uh, LS5. So we drop our... Scavenger on the left, Vigna on the right. These are both uh, DP regening units, so Vigna gets them on kill, and um, Scavenger gets them uh, every so often. We also have Cruz at the top. She was my savior. I wish you could hide this little interface so we could see this a little better. We then drop our Silver Ash. You can honestly use uh, any sort of tank instead of Silver Ash, just somebody that can block two people. So somebody like a Courier would work too. Then we drop Melantha here. You don't need to do this, but it just uh, let me kind of hold the fort a little bit longer. Uh, I slowed it down for a second just because it gets really, really close here. Uh, we also drop XI. Uh, again, any other archer would probably work here. Uh, and there's probably a combination to just throw in crew to handle these things. So we just barely survived this first wave, but it's fine. Uh, we could do this other ways, but again, this is just what works for me. Speed it up a little bit until some stuff happens. We have some more archers up top. That's fine. That is fine and dandy. And again, we can see Liskarm here. Liskarm is my savior for this run. Liskarm allowed me to ignore that lane completely outside of her. With her uh, E1 skill, she does insane arts damage. And um, you can watch once she gets her skill charged up, she will blow up this crew all by herself here. It's kind of insane what she can do. This allows her to completely clear it by herself. Super, super insane. I love her to death. She's one of my favorite units, and she kind of carried me uh, really early. And you can pick her for free if you want as well. And the second phase here, um, it's basically over at this point if you survive this long. Vigna and uh, Scavenger tank no problem. Courier will tank up here no problem too. And you can replace Courier after instead. And of course, it's just going to be a little bit of waiting here at the end for uh, Liskarm to get her special up and once she gets her special up just slaughters things with her uh with her skill i love it it's such a cool skill like for a defender to do this much burst damage is kind of kind of bonkers imo and then i remove everybody just because why not i don't know why i did that but i did easy 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 so that was i think the first five stage I, I finished off. I think I did this. No, I did that one second. That was my second. Um, my CE5 was the first. We can't show that today, but we will we will get in here on reset when it comes available again. And now SK5, the hardest stage I have done so far. This is the team I did. I tried so many different things and um, we'll talk about it as we go again because this was honestly just a hell of a run for me. I tried so hard. I feel like if you have Skyfire or Aya Fiala or Ifrit or something, this would go much better. So we start off with our, uh, well, two times speed it. We start off with our, um, <laughs> we start off hitting reset because I forget to hit auto deploy. RIP one sanity. 
You darn well better try harder next time, crew. Okay, so we start off with actual auto deploy this time. And this is the team we used here. Like I said, this was hard as heck. All just the last bit. So if you have Skyfire, I think it's going to be way easier. A lot of my problems come down to my AoE mages. So we drop off Scavenger here. Somebody who regens DP over time with our Cliff Heart. You can also use Rope there. The idea is anybody who pulls to pull people in. Pretty much a requirement here and you do get Cliff Heart for free. I then drop a Lava here. This is where you would drop your Skyfire if you have her. We then drop our Liskarm as well. Um, and because my uh, my scavenger isn't super, super tanky, I do drop a healer here just to top her up. But it's not something that's really needed. You don't need to proc Lava's ability either. This Karm is going to tank everything here. Any sort of tank like Kurara would work there as well for this current spot. And at this point here, um, right once this last guy comes at 12, is when you start preparing your uh, push. So your Effie Eater or your um, Shaw. So right as uh, my Scavenger starts getting hit, I drop my Shaw here. I also drop Gitano, another AoE Mage. We also drop a Healer here, and this is going to push everybody back up there still. Um, such a funny combination here. And uh, at this point, it's just tons of AoE damage here between Gitano and my Lava. Um, it's actually like so much damage. Like I, I can't, I can't believe. Like I don't know how other people fight through this. It's so insane. Uh, right after we knock this one back here, we do uh, get um, Shaw out of the way because we want Shaw back later. We have our Balantha dropped here just to get some extra damage, and we dropped an Xi just to snipe off this one unit right at the top. We basically just use her ability here. And if you drop Melantha, the first lightsaber dude of Doom, who does insane arts damage, uh, gets picked off by her. Otherwise, they tear through your Liskarm. Um, so we keep pulling those lightsaber people down here and get a little bit of damage here and there. And this is where the damage starts to get insane. Like, I have it on one time speed just so you can watch the HP of my Liskarm and everybody. We also dropped Hoshiguma, a second healer, right after we dropped the uh, Xi here. We pop our Lava's ability just to start handling this wave a little better here. And the damage just gets insane. We pull another dude away out. And we pop our Liskarm's ability here just to start destroying this wave. Uh, like if you look at the HP of my units here, and this is with two healers, it's just gets so difficult. Like so much damage here. She's stunned after her AoE, so things start to get risky. I drop in a Scavenger just to stop that for half a second, and that makes all the difference in the world. We also drop Silver Ash. Any tank here would work instead. Um, our HP goes down to quite literally like 1% HP. So does Silver Ashes, uh, but it's fine. We just barely make it, and this is the hardest little end I, I, I've done. You know, like it's so hard to handle this last little bit. Uh, and I feel like the problem is my Lava and Jatano just don't do as much compared to the other AoE mages. Um, I tried to do this like a hundred times before I finally got this to work, so uh, really, really happy about this. This is like the, the, the most proud I've been in this game. Um, so anyways, let's go into our CE5 next. Uh, and that was a pretty easy one, especially since I did it with Lava who is, again, not one of the best AoE mages, especially when compared to Skyfire, uh, a unit I wouldn't mind too much. Uh, so let's go to this next run. Okay, and let's get the final run in today. Um, it's a new day, so I can actually show you. We're going to do CE5, and I think this was the first fifth stage I did, and it's also the most important one. You're going to be spamming this until the end of time basically um there's no better place to get lmd and lmd is such a precious resource so i'll try to talk through my run uh and there's a lot of replacements you can do again uh, i mentioned skyfire a lot just because my aoe damage dealers are what hold me back so much so maybe something like skyfire would help a lot too i start off with a dp regen uh silver ash and crew you can also replace crew with uh xi or any other archer you can replace silver ash with anybody that blocks two um and you can drop a healer pretty early to kind of counteract that 
Uh, we also have our Vigna at the bottom, another one of those DP regen on kills. I like it in the bottom because there are so many of those little uh, spike dudes that come. And as you can see, uh, Silver Ash does take quite a bit of damage here. So maybe maybe like a tank, like uh, this Karm or something would work here instead. I then drop my Abia. Um, any sort of mage will, hear, uh, will work here as well. I think actually any sort of DPS would work here, not just uh, magical DPS. Top is really easy. Middle is a tough one and bottom is really easy as well. You can see um, crew stealing all of Vigna's kills. Uh, and at around 20, you need to drop your AoE mage depending on how much damage she does. Uh, you need to drop them backwards to kill these three. Uh, again, Skyfire can probably kill them much faster. Uh, this is where you would pop your skill if you're a smart person. Uh, instead, if you're like me, you wait like 10 seconds. Once these are dead, uh, that's all she's used for. You can get rid of her. And then I drop an AoE Archer. Uh, again, you can use basically any sort of DPS uh, that can reach. That's the big part. I really like Meteorite, so that's why I bring her out all the time. And from this point on, it's basically just GG. There's nothing much else to really uh, like cause problems, right? It's just that first starting wave that really, really starts to cause problems. I uh, pull up Melantha here just to act, add some extra DPS. I think you can also do Melantha in top or bottom lane if you want as well. But I'd rather have the uh, DP regenerators. So yeah, um, those are my three runs here. And I just want to show you my teams right now or my general units. Uh, just to note, I don't have any E2s yet. I have zero. I've been completely 100% waiting for um, base upgrades and stuff like that instead. And I haven't really been refreshing, so... Um, there's other people with like five E2s and I have zero so far. Uh, but this is my current team, the ones I'm generally using uh, all right here. Angelic, uh, Angelina was kind of a waste, but it is what it is. And uh, I'll use her more later once I get her E1 or E2. Open. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as always, thank you for Bluestacks for sponsoring this video. If you want to download a Bluestacks uh, with Arknights on it, link description below. It is my emulator of choice. It's the safest emulator IMO. And yeah. Uh, that's really important. Having having your data on a safe emulator is so very, very important. Um, so thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.